Hello, Cyclocross friends, and welcome back to Cyclocross Television and our first ever Cyclocross Heat Check Power Rankings. We're going to be counting down the top 11 women and men racers in North American UCI Cyclocross races. This first episode will be our preseason rankings, which are based on meticulous research, a sophisticated algorithm, and years, decades even, of experience in North American Cyclocross prognostication. We're starting our heat check power rankings with the women. And in the 11th spot, it's Crystal Anthony. Six overall in the Pro CX Series, wins at Go Cross and Really Rad Festival, and podiums at Gloucester and Rochester put Anthony solidly, solidly on the board at number 11 in the heat check power rankings. Coming in at number 10 is Squid Bike Sammy Runnels. She grabbed the Stars and Stripes jersey for the college ranks. One day, two at Ruts and Guts, swept the Nobuyama Supercross and the West Sacramento Cyclocross Grand Prix to claim a well-deserved spot in the Heat Check Power Rankings at number 10, which brings us to number nine. And at number nine, it's Courtney McFadden. The 2018 season was a comeback year for McFadden following injury, and she looks to be ramping up for a big year in 2019. Wins at Northampton and Resolution and good showings at Pont Chateau and Hugerheide are promising signs for the Pivot Maxis racer. Which brings us to number eight and our first young gun in the power rankings. Making the off-season move from Alpha Bicycles to the Cannondale Cyclocrossworld.com team, Katie Klaus is primed for a breakout season. The current 17-18 national champ, Klaus also won her first C1 race at Ruts and Guts this past season to go along with a win at Resolution Cup. More national championship jerseys in years live. This could be another big year for Cannondale's littler Katie. And at number seven is our other young gun in the power rankings, Team s and Clara Hansinger. She's a huge talent in cyclocross, current US U23 national champ, current U23 Pan Am champ. Hansinger mixed it up with elites all season and has the potential to be fighting for the top step of every North American race she enters this season. And here we are at number six. And this is where things start to get a little dicey. So much talent, so few spots left. In at number six, on the CX Heat Check Power Rankings is Rebecca Farringer. Fourth place at the Louisville CX Nat. Winner of day two at Supercross. Runner up in the Pro CX standings. Farringer was consistently in the front group of most every race she entered. And she gets the CX Air's heat check bump by winning the inaugural Parkway CX Trophy for her Charm City and DC CX results. Next up, it's the top five. And in the fifth spot, it's Sunny Gilbert. Runner up, with the emphasis on runner, at CX Nats, a sweep at DC CX, and let's not forget a coveted win in the men's single speed race at the Cycle and Fitness Center Super's Prestige. Gives Sunny G a solid footing in the fifth spot. Moving on to number four, and you would think that Ellen Noble's seven race winning streak that included sweeps of Charm City, Gloucester, Cincy, and the Silver Goose would warrant at the very least a podium spot in the power rankings. But the cyclocross heat check is cruel. Cruel, but fair. Noble also earned a silver medal in the Waterloo World Cup behind Mariana Voss. She won the Pro CX, but she's fourth in the heat check power rankings. We're sticking with it. Please direct your letters to feedback at cxhairs.com and your angry tweets to at cxhairs. Which brings us to the third spot and Magley Rochette. Rochette and Noble had some epic battles last season, so it's only fitting they start this year side by side. Rochette started the year on a tear with a sweep at Rochester, a win at Reno Cross, and a sixth place at the Bern World Cup. She also won the Pan Am Championship and another Canadian National Championship to boot. And at this point, if you follow North American Cyclocross for more than a day, there probably isn't much suspense about who the top two spots are going to. Here's a spoiler. Both spots will be filled by a Katie. Coming in at number two in your Cyclocross Heat Check Power Rankings is Katie Kia. A World Cup win in Iowa City. Seventh place at the World Championships. Sixth place at Hugerheide, Keo marked her arrival as a threat to the pecking order for international cyclocross fame. With a focus on Europe this year, we are predicting even bigger results for Katie Keo. And that takes us to the top spot in the power rankings. And I'm not even going to waste my breath on justifying this pick, because no 
justification is necessary. She's Katie Compton. No discussion necessary. Katie F and Compton. Number one. And there it is, your top 11 women in the Cyclocross Heat Check Power Rankings. While you peruse the list to jot down what we got wrong, let's move on to the men. The 11th spot in the CX Heat Check Power Rankings is the outlier. The one for the fans to chew on and wonder if the person deserved it over all of those deserving racers who didn't make the list. And the first owner of that spot is Jamie Driscoll. A win at Charm City, runner-up at Reno Cross, and Major Tail. Always a threat for the podium, Driscoll looked like he was going to be a threat at CX Nats before everything went pear-shaped. He's coming back strong this season after a late season injury from last year, and the heat check scouts have spotted Driscoll tearing up the gravel and even showing up at MTB Nats. That has convinced us he's ready to roll for CX season and deserving of that 11th spot. And in at number 10 is another racer sidelined last year by injury. After strong showings at Go Cross and Rochester, Tobin Ortenblad looked on his way to a solid season. Having to end it early may have kept him off the power rankings, but he showed up unannounced at Night Weasels and took everyone's money. So for that reason alone, he's in. And in at number 10. Moving on to number 9, and it's Cody Kaiser. A win at West Sacramento and solid results throughout the season landed Kaiser in the 6th spot on the Pro CX ranking, which is good enough for the ninth spot in the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. In the A spot is our second most favorite Canadian cyclocross racer. We don't even know who the first one is anymore, only that Michael Vandenham is definitely, without a doubt, the second. He's the Canadian cyclocross champion, runner-up at Pan Am, with strong showings at Charm City and Ruts and Guts, and he's committed to full-on racing for the 2019-2020 CX season and that earns the MVDH the 8th slot in the Heat Check Power Rankings. The North American men's field got pretty banged up last year, and the guy slotting in at 7th was among those numbers. Spencer Petrov came back from an early season head injury to earn second step honors for both days at Northampton before winning the U23 Stars and Stripes jersey at Cyclocross Nationals. In the sixth spot is Drew Dillman, yet another racer who got hurt early and came back strong by the end of the season. After taking time off from racing for a season or so, Dizzle shook off the rust quickly before going down during the Waterloo World Cup. By late season, though, he was back to racing and took the win at Major Taylor and two second places at Resolution Cup before finishing fourth at Cyclocross Nationals. In the fifth spot is your current amateur road racing national champ. But that's not what got Lance Haidt at the high spot in the Heat Check Power Ranking. It was the win at Reno Cross in the C1 race the second place at Cincy. But that road form, that road form is what we're going to be keeping an eye on at the start of this season. And speaking of road form, Gage Hecht, Hayden Donnelly teammate, also has it. And he slotted in at number four on the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. Skipping the U23 race at CX Nats to run with the elites and ending up on the podium got him in the conversation. But wins at the US Open of Cyclocross, Cincy, Silver Goose, Resolution Cup, and Ruts and Guts earned him the fourth spot in our rankings. And here we are, at the top three. Who's left, you ask? Well, there's the U.S. National Champion, the Pan Am Champion, and the Pro CX Champion. The question is, how do they stack up? In at number three on the Heat Check Power Rankings is Kerry, don't call him Kenny, Werner. He took the top spot in the Pro CX Series, won the Parkway CX Trophy, which will always get you bonus points in Heat Check Land, swept Go Cross, swept DCCX, won at Charm City, Nittany, and Hendersonville to play some solid on the Heat Check Power Rankings podium. And in the second spot is Cannondale CyclocrossWorld.com rider Curtis White, Pan Am Champion, sweeps at Gloucester, Northampton, and Supercross. From the middle of the season on, White was more or less unbeatable. He was unbeatable except for one guy. And that guy? He's your number one in the CX Heat Check Power Ranking. And he's Stephen Hyde. He had a clean sweep of Rochester before going down at the Trek Waterloo World Cup. Plagued with nagging injuries all season, Hyde came back in December to sweep NBX 
and successfully defend his U.S. National Champion jersey. Coming into this season, presumably healthy, the top spot belongs to Hyde until someone knocks him off. And there you have it, the first cyclocross heat check power ranking. We're going to be doing this each and every week throughout the season, you know, at least until the money runs out, and, and we want you to be a part of it. Let us know your thoughts by using the hashtag, hashtag CXHeatCheck. Also, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and tell your cyclocross friends to do the same. Hit us up at feedback at cxairs.com with your questions, comments, and for sponsorship information. Until next time, I'm Bill Scheichen for the Wide Angle Podium Network and CX Hairs. Talk to you soon, cyclocross friends.